a very good morning dear students i hope you all are fine so in today's session we are continuing with unit second that is self management skills and session 2 we are going to discuss today half part we have completed in previous video today we are continuing with page number 42 and the topic name that is today's topic that is management technique before that in session 2 we have covered about what is stress and how to manage the stress so for managing the stress we are having a number of techniques by using the various techniques we can control our stress we can manage our stress so which techniques are been being followed for managing the stress that we are covering in today's session so first technique it is time management second is physical exercise fresh air healthy diet positivity organizing academic life sleep and holidays with family or friends so first point that is most important point that is time management if you are having a capability to manage the time if you have a capability to manage your time schedule on routine basis or regular basis so it will also reduce your stress level like you have to work for 8 hours if you are managing your over 8 hours how to manage how to spend 8 hours in office environment which work has to be completed on which time then it is the helpful tool to manage your stress it will definitely reduce your stress level second is physical exercise due to our fam family life due to our daily routine life due to our eating habit due to our healthy behavior we are not able to perform our physical exercise so it is another step of managing the stress if you are having a physical exercise schedule on daily basis you are doing yoga you are doing physical exercise some games you are playing some time you are spending in physical activities so that will also help to manage your stress definitely if you are giving relax to your body if you are giving some time to physically exercise your body definitely it will reduce your stress level third point that is fresh air the ultimate method of reducing the stress that is you have to get it the fresh air from healthy environment so you have to be spend some time in a open environment you should have the capability to go on uh, regular exercise you have should have the capability to do yoga you have the capability to do daily morning walk that will provide you the fresh oxygen and that will also help to manage your blood pressure level bp level or either it will uh, manage your sugar level you will be so far from multiple types of disease so it is a major factor if you are having the fresh air environment you are doing regular exercise you are doing yoga it will also manage your stress level fourth one is healthy diet the major concept healthy diet means to say you have to fulfill your body requirement like you have to take the fresh vegetables you have to take chapati on time you have to take uh, eatables on time milk either than taking the junk foods so healthy diet will always be beneficial for your stress management if you are taking healthy diet your body will be fit and you have the capability to work continuously for a number of time and your work will not be late if work is on right time definitely you will feel less stress next is positivity always think about positive never think about negative let me to take one example suppose you are giving the cbse 12th grade examination and in that examination you got the result that you are not able to get 80% marks due to some your family problems due to some physical problem in that case never be demoralized try to understand the situation try to understand the environment and afterward make commitment with you i will get more marks definitely next time don't be aggressive don't be demoralized don't become negative ultimately you can get, get the stress level reduced sixth is organizing academic life it is the best way if you are managing your academic schedule you are completing your work on right time you are giving proper time to your assignments you are completing your all practicals on right time definitely you will not be in pressure and you have the capability to reduce the stress by managing your daily routine academic activities next is sleep the major factor that will affect your body level you have to take 
एट लीस्ट सेवन टू एट आर स्लीप इन ए फुल डे इट मीन इन ट्वेंटी फोर आवर यू नीड सेवन टू एट आर रेस्ट इफ यू आर नॉट टेकिंग रेस्ट फॉर सेवन टू एट आर यू आर नॉट गिविंग रिलैक्सेशन टू योर बॉडी फॉर सेवन टू एट आर डेफिनेटली यू विल फील टायर्ड एंड यू विल बिकम इन ए स्ट्रेस यू हैव द कैपेबिलिटी नॉट टू हैंडल द स्ट्रेस सो यू हैव टू टेक अ प्रॉपर स्लीप एंड यूर स्ट्रेस लेवल विल बी रिड्यूज नेक्स्ट इज हॉलीडेज विद फैमिली और फ्रेंड्स जनरली वट हैपन्स ऑलवेज वी आर इन स्ट्रेस सो टू रिड्यूज द स्ट्रेस वी हैव सम टाइम वी हैव सम हॉलीडेज दैट विल बी ऑलवेज यूटिलाइज विद योर फैमिली और फ्रेंड मेम फ्रेंड्स फैमिली मेम्बर्स ऑलवेज रिड्यूज योर स्ट्रेस वेन यू आर मूविंग एट होम आफ्टर डूइंग योर वर्किंग आफ्टर डूइंग योर बिजनेस इन इवनिंग इफ यू आर स्पेंड वन टू टू आर विद योर फैमिली डेफिनेटली योर स्ट्रेस लेवल विल बी रिड्यूज सो ट्राई टू रिड्यूज द हॉलीडेज विद योर फैमिली और फ्रेंड्स so these are some management techniques to reduce the stress next topic is ability to work independently how you can work independent independent mean to say separate no dependent upon anyone if you are having the capabilities to work independent then you should have some qualities like you should have a quality to self awareness self monitoring and correcting what is self awareness you should have capability to find out what can i do which quality i am having which work i can do with confidence you can monitor yourself i am doing wrong or right and you can correct yourself if you are doing wrong if you are working in a wrong environment you should have a capability to manage yourself so three factors are there self awareness self monitoring and self correcting second point knowing what you need to do if you have a capability to manage yourself if you have a capability to evaluate yourself what to do and what not to do it means what to do what not to do then you can be a successful person in a work independent environment you can work independently if you have the capability to know yourself what is beneficial and what is harmful for you people third point taking initiative it is the major step if you have the capability to take initiative for new task for new challenges for a business environment or a office environment definitely you have the ability to work independent without support of others fourth point recognize your mistakes everyone is not a perfect in any profession so if you are working in any environment definitely you will do some mistakes so you have the capability to find out where i am making the mistakes you should have the capability to recognize your mistakes and if you are having this quality that definitely you can work in an independent environment and fifth point ability and willing to learn continuously life is full of challenges you have to face so many challenges so to fulfill the life environment you should have the ability and capability to learn new things so you should be willing to learn every time new things and for that you have to learn continuously for whole life never you can speak i am expertise in each field no one is expert so you should have the ability and willing to learn the new things in a continuous environment afterward you can work independent from others next topic that is emotional intelligence this is related to your emotional touch in which we are covering three points emotional awareness harnessing emotion and managing the emotion what is emotional awareness you should be aware about the emotions about your emotions also and about other emotion also so in emotional awareness the ability to identify and name one's own emotion is in the under the category of emotional awareness second is harnessing emotion what is harnessing emotions you should have the capability to harness and apply emotion to make to make like thinking and other emotion it means you should have the capability to apply the emotion on your task on like thinking and problem solving it means you should have the emotional capability to think positively and try to find out what we can do for a new environment and third point that is managing the emotion if you are having the capability to manage your emotion definitely definitely you are the perfect person uh, like what happens generally there are number of mistakes in your life like uh, i'll give you one example about managing the emotion how to manage the emotion like ravi and sham are two friends 
रवि एंड श्याम बोथ आर पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन ए कॉम्पिटिशन इन ए स्पोर्ट्स एक्टिविटी बोथ आर डूइंग वेरी हार्ड वर्क बट रिजल्ट इज दैट रवि विन द मैच रवि इज द विनर एंड श्याम इज द लूजर इन ए कॉम्पिटिशन सो इफ श्याम इज शाउटिंग ऑन रवि यू हैव बोन वाई यू हैव बोन he start fighting with parent after some time he is not talking to the per, uh, specific person he is spoiling the relationship in that case he is not able to manage the emotion what can be there if ravi and sham both are competitor ravi win the match so sham should have capability to find out where i was lacking he should not fight he can commit with for future that he can do better in their next time so it is the capability that is under the category of managing the emotions and next point how to manage ei it means how to manage the emotional intelligence so to manage the emotional intelligence you should be understand your emotions it means you should have the capability to observe your behavior and note the things that you need to that you need to work you should have the capability to find out your behavior to evaluate your behavior and you should have the capability to find out what to do and what it's not to do so you can then work on the things that you need to do that you need to improve second point is rationalize what is rationalize do not take decision abruptly because rational in your thinking when you are taking your decision you should have the capability to find out the logic behind every point rationalization mean to say you can evaluate the activity on the basis of different types of factors don't take decision in hurry it will definitely spoil your life and third point is practice uh, practice what is practice it means you have to do continuous meditation and yoga practice means that is the level that will increase your working environment that will increase your work capability and reduce your stress level so practice include the activities that include yoga and meditation that is continuous process for your whole life so afterward your session 2 is getting completed dear students if you are facing any problem in any specific topic you can contact me on my whatsapp number my whatsapp number is 9391188890 so i hope you understand my points we will meet in next video with next session thank you have a nice day for this session thank you so much